Make sure you close up. Wow! Hey, hey! Sounds great. All right. All right. Be careful, okay? care of them. You want to release it? Looks a little stronger. You want to let it out? Thank <laughs> you. 
Are you finished? What? It is time, inmate. Please, take your time. See you later. We're getting started. Ah, yes. How about you? Hmm. Maybe it was a bit too hard. Fine.
the way. Consider what I have to say. Hmm? And while our they lack the next watch where you're you this isn't Yes. Good citizens. What is the point of bit This is none of your Yes, serious. Now, if you'll please excuse together. Ugh. Enough of your arrogance! What? As if anyone would actually vote for you! Are you planning to embezzle funds again? Or maybe criticize one of your constituents again? You criminal! No, that, that was all in the past. <sighs> I've gone and done it again. Yes, but I cannot regardless. I went through quite an ordeal 20 years ago. Let me explain. I used to be a member of the National Diet. I was elected during the rise of the Kuramoto children. We were backed by powerful Diet members. This was about 20 years ago. I was very inexperienced back then, both as a politician as well as a human being. That inexperience led me to be involved in a series of major political scandals. People refer to my blunders as No Good Taurus Three Strikes. The first was being caught missing a legislative meeting to take a personal vacation. Then, I was accused of embezzling a large sum of money from the party, giving me two strikes. Finally, I called a voter an idiot at an open forum, which resulted in scandal and strike three. I was out and branded a washed-up politician. You said you wanted to become a member of the Diet. But do you see the man before you? Do you really want to receive my guy? I'm happy to hear that. Everyone's... You mean giving speeches? Mm. The most important part about giving a good speech is believing in yourself. Perhaps one day I will believe in myself again. But you sure got me there. You're a strange young man. 
Very well. If learning how to give a great speech is what you seek, then I'd be happy to instruct you. In exchange, I would like for you to continue assisting me. Let's get started, shall we? Staging your crimes with calling cards. It's hard to believe that a student could manage this alone. An adult. For example, someone talented enough to move people with words. Perhaps they coached you. Isn't that right? I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the Sun persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. All right. Let's pursue your dream of becoming a member. Oh my, we've been talking for far too long. Let's call it quits for today. You. Well then, I shall see you again soon. What's up with that old geezer? Oh, is he crying? I... I have committed crimes that are unbecoming of an artist. Plainly put, I... Uh, plagiarized work. I... I tainted this... This country's art world and... And even Sayuri... How could I... I possibly apologize to to everyone for for what I've done. <laughs> <laughs> He's crying way too much. <laughs> and that was from the urgent apology conference by Matarame that took place just a moment ago. After reporting to the association, Matarame has agreed to the police's request to turn himself in. Wasn't he on TV the other day? On top of charges of abuse to his pupils, Matarame is under suspicion of claiming their works as his own. Some doubt the validity that his maiden work, Sayuri, was stolen, believing it was used for fraud. This large-scale criminal act has caused a great shock to the art world, and... That old man's done for. After the conference, Matarame was taken to a police hospital for interrogation due to his age. However, initial psych evaluations state that he is mentally sound and likely responsible for his actions. There's no need to be nice to an old geezer like that. Why do he spill the beans himself? Doesn't that seem weird? Also, a group calling themselves the Phantom Thieves posted a dubious note at Matarame's exhibit. The police will investigate their relation to this case, but for now, did not identify them as suspects. Phantom thieves? Do these bandits have something to do with that old geezer's apology? Oh, I've heard of them before. They supposedly steal evil hearts. It's why the culprits apologize. Wait, what? Steal hearts? <laughs> That's impossible, though. But I feel like I saw something about that online, too. They sent out a calling card for real. Oh, so it was like, we're going to take your heart? Oh, that's impressive if someone really did that. Phantom Thieves, huh? Phantom Thieves again. You guys see the news about Madarame? It's just like what happened with Kamoshida. And they mentioned the Phantom Thieves! Man, this is starting to get interesting. If we do it right, we can change people's hearts. 
With this power, we might be able to do more than just getting back at society. It'll be a big deal. Let's keep pushing on then. As for me, I hope we just keep getting more and more famous. Something like this happening twice is massive, too. It's too great a coincidence to occur normally. If we continue doing this, we'll definitely be able to give courage to everyone who needs it. We may want to quiet down a little. Do you know them? You moron! Those are attendance officers! Hello there. May I speak with you for a moment? Ah, yes! How can we help you? That monotonous acting of hers never fails to send a chill down my spine. What are you all doing here? Are you friends? Hmm? What did you say? Uh, <laughs> th that was a joke! <laughs> he didn't get much sleep last night. Well, all right. Just make sure you disperse before it gets too late, okay? There have been some odd happenings lately, and the news about that artist has caused quite the stir. We'll be careful! It's still light out. Man, those guys must have way too much time on their hands. Hey! Don't go making stuff up on the spot like that, okay? I totally panicked because of you! From now on, we'll need to be even more cautious than before. Look at us. Right after the second thieves incident, both prior victims are meeting up. Wait, you mean people might be listening to us? It'll be fine. Look around, we're the only people worrying about it. I guess you're right. By the way, Yusuke, you able to get anything out of Madarame? Remember how he was talking about that suspicious person in the black mask? Well, I pressed him for answers, but he doesn't even understand what happened to him to begin with. It's not like he actually saw his desires get stolen, after all. It's rumored that he may be sent to prison. In that case, gaining information will be difficult. So, what are you gonna do now? I'll be leaving that house. I can't draw on such a place anymore. Do you have somewhere to go? The school dorms. I can stay there free of charge thanks to my fine arts scholarship. A scholarship? Wait, you're that good? Although, Takamaki-san's house would do as well. Wait, what? You know, you could ask her to model for you whenever you wanted. You moron! Then again, now that Yusuke will be living alone, it'll be easier for us to meet up whenever we want. For the time being, we should wait and see how this case plays out. <sighs> and it'll probably take some time finding a target as big as Madarame. Anyway, we should just act like normal students while we look for our next target, okay? We'll be entrusting that to you again, Ryuji. Alright, guess it's just more prep till then. Yusuke Kitagawa. So after Shiho Suzui, you did it again for someone you barely knew? You were sent away twice, almost reported to the police, and yet you still wanted to save him. Moreover, you ended up in a museum instead of a castle this time. You're still going to maintain this rubbish about changing someone's heart by stealing their treasure? <laughs> Very well. The truth behind this tale of yours will be clear once your conspirators are in custody. Now then, tell me about this new member who joined your group. There's no point in being stubborn. It will only damage your position. The identity of Madarame's pupil can be easily discovered with a little investigation. So you won't sell out your accomplice? <sighs> Fine. There's still much more that I want to hear. 
It was around this time that the Phantom Thieves began to truly gain popularity. Lies flooded the internet. Things like the Phantom Thieves saved me too, or I got a calling card. For heaven's sake, those lies made the collection of intel take almost ten times longer. Now your next target was this man, Junya Kaneshiro. He doesn't compare to the previous two. Even the police had been struggling to apprehend him. So, exactly how did you take down such a well-guarded criminal? Tell me. The suspect has repeatedly testified that he does not have any recollection of his actions. A full psychiatric evaluation will be performed to further investigate the crime's details and motives. First Kamoshida at Shujin Academy, and now Matarame. I found a number of points of commonality between the two. Both, for example, were sent a calling card before their unforeseen changes of heart. I see. But isn't tying their cases to the series of psychotic breakdowns jumping to conclusions? Furthermore, the police will frown upon you stepping into this. Now isn't the time to be worrying about things like jurisdiction and honor. We need to dig deeper and find a correlation among the incidents these past two, three years. <sighs> Very well, I leave it to you. However, you must not let this interfere with your regular duties. Thank you, sir. That damn woman just had to stick her nose into this. And I understand that these abnormal incidents have caused some anxiety throughout our country. This situation must be approached with the utmost seriousness. I shall continue to put forth great effort so that every citizen can live with peace of mind. Not only are there these phantom thieves to worry about, but if that is exposed... of where your commuter pass works. So make sure you've got the fare. your time.
Nice. Hmm. Hmm. Welcome. The center of the target's called the bullseye. If you land a dart there, it's called the bull. I know because I looked up the rules online last night. Anyway, this game's called Zero One. You win by getting your score all the way down to zero points before the other player. Oh, so you're not trying to get a high score, but get rid of your score? That's pretty different. We both start with the same score. Then you lose points based on the number on the board where your dart lands. And you can only win if you get your score down to zero exactly. You can't even be off by a single point. How's that sound? Pretty sick, right? So you have to be able to calculate your score properly while making sure you hit the right numbers on the board. This game seems like it takes a lot of concentration. <laughs> One point? Come on. You have to straighten your arm out more and... Hey, Ryuji, what's up? Ah, I was just reading this flyer. It says, darts is a party when you play in pairs. You team up with someone and alternate throwers when it's your turn. You still use the same rules I told you though. Hey, what do you say we give it a try? Hell yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Let's do this. Whoa, a bull right off the bat? Man, talk about an exciting opening. Here goes. Don't. Hell yeah! Whoa! He hit. We're almost down to zero points. Let's really focus for this last round. Woo That's no easy feat. Man, when you're on the line. <laughs> 
Based on the looks on your faces, I'm guessing both of you got something out of this game. Even if it is just a game. It kept... <laughs> Let's keep practicing. Man. A stroke... Ooh, what? Oh yeah, they have pool here. Hmm. Yeah, it's already pretty late though. Ah, and don't... But it was super fun, right? Well... Hey. Do it. 